Hello and welcome to Calagram Market. One second, I'll just make sure that <coughs> our stream is up and you know all the usual yada yada yada. Jess, you're the first one here. Hi Jess, good to see you here. Mahek, hi Mahek. Hi Karan, hi. Pranav, hi Magesh. Pra, hi Rehan, hi Sumit, hi Pranav. Okay, I'm going to say a lot of hi. So, um, okay. So, right. So, <clears throat> so, as usual, let's get started with what we said yesterday and let's get started. So, yeah, I think the only telling thing from yesterday is that we, no matter what you do, I was saying, ki don't buy puts on open. Right? Uh, that was the only kind of takeaway which we had. And I think that was like the right thing to do. Uh, no new trades till price action is scared. Do not buy puts on a big back gap down open. So today was a big gap down open. It were expensive option. It went right up. And uh, I think uh, today at the EOD probably you could have been a call shot. But otherwise put buying was a, an absolute bad bet. right? So let's see what next now. So to understand what next now. We have to see what is the technical positioning of Nifty right now. Nifty is below the blue trend line, which we know. Uh, Bank Nifty is below the blue trend line, which we know. Dollar is strong, which we know. Now let's look at the weekly chart of Bank Nifty. Sorry, Nifty. We can say, see one thing clearly that Nifty took support at the 50 weekly moving average. If you look at Bank Nifty weekly chart, again, it's an indecision candle. Um, and do, sorry, dollar, of course, no dollar weekly chart. So let me just shift to bank nifty weekly yeah what is this yeah bank nifty weekly so bank nifty has also formed a doji candle daily weekly also bank nifty has formed daily now that we are close to the end of trading tomorrow being the last trading day of the month it's important that we look at the monthly time frame candle also and this is important right we are we seem to be looking at a shooting star right now. This is a bullish engulfing, this is a shooting star. So now we have conflicting monthly signals, right? Let's look at Bank Nifty also. Bullish engulfing followed by, this is not really a shooting star, but let's say this has a huge rejection wick on the top. So if Nifty closes tomorrow below 17,200, then <coughs> what we'll end up having is a shooting star proper then every then the bullish trend which was indicated by the formation of this bullish engulfing last month is under threat right so that is the overall chart picture so i'll i'll just write it down gap down open strong buying after that nifty bounce around the 50 dma level bank nifty is forming indecision nifty monthly close looking like a shooting star and bullish momentum is under threat right which is a negative pattern which is a <laughs> bearish pattern in case people are new to this let me just write it down also right what's our second piece of the puzzle option j today 17500 had a lot of selling 17300 had enough equal number of put and call selling overall option chain looks like 17300 has a support 17500 has a resistance overall option chain but here is what i would be careful about in this these puts are not newly added but the calls are almost entirely newly added so 4.7 million calls which are outstanding here are all coming from today but a lot of puts here are old puts so they might not be that strong a support as you think it is because they are old puts standing there and if 17300 breaks we can we can have massive down move right <coughs> so 17500 resistance <coughs> If 17300 breaks, expect uh, crackdown. By crackdown, I mean like except expect a big downfall. Then maybe we'll see 17000 or something, right? PCR is 0.8 neutral. Let me see any comments. Srijit is saying Nifty will bounce back from 16800. Yeah, I don't know if 16800 Okay, so. FIA option data is our last piece of the puzzle. Hmm, very mixed signals, more calls and puts today, but they sold calls and sold puts. That's kind of neutral. 
<coughs> but index futures clearly bearish 1000 crore sell stocks also clearly bearish 500 crores of sell so now overall my problem is it's a it's kind of mixed signals but market is definitely weak uh, monthly closing candle very important so if tomorrow we have a strong close then monthly closing candle will not be a shooting star and nifty might get a second life but tomorrow if it's a negative closing then we will end up having a shooting star with a red body that will be massively negative right uh, for me right now the same bet to do so there's a threat on the downside there's not much of a threat on the upside at least in the short time frame for this expiry i won't sell puts because if tomorrow something gets broken we are going to get a massive downfall so i would sell 17500 calls for this expiry that would be my trade on uptix right finally quickly moving to dollar so people often ask me ki boss why don't you recommend bank nifty trade i'm like boss pagal nahi bank nifty mein trade karunga because it's like proper gambling thing so uh, dollar looks very strong i think dollar has closed above i mean it's giving firm closing dojis with very little rejection near all time highs i won't be surprised if we see an a new all time high on dollar anyway dollar shorting is like the you know scariest thing you can do now so so that is dollar right so net net what's the plan i would um uh, sell 17500 calls uh and i think there's some more bearishness left in the market this is my overall read right let me see if there are some interesting comments hemant is asking explain in hindi uh, hemant there is a very 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 good channel uh sensible hindi run by sagar on hindi uh, it's beautiful you should check him out he speaks amazing hindi if uh, if i speak hindi you know a small part of hindi will die uh uh what what other comments no other comments so largely yes there's nothing to do day after tomorrow is ganesh chaturthi so it's a trading holiday so tomorrow is the monthly close and uh, please watch tomorrow's candles if tomorrow is negative then please don't be long uh short aapke upar depend karta hai but don't short the market if tomorrow we get a shooting star with a red body in the monthly time frame right black power is asking do you think economy is in recession yaar wo mere ko idea nahi hai to be honest because you know we are not looking at economy right we are only looking at charts charts and <laughs> i mean stock market and economy have very little to do with each other if you ask me um here apson is asking a question i don't see your question where is your question here question nahi dikh raha hai oops what do i do what do i do i don't see the question you always give analysis for keep on waiting so when to trade yaar ye kya tha friday to tod ke bech rahe the hum so i like when when did we wait on friday dude like oh that's unfair okay so okay many of mr f mr f there might be a i mean there might be a sale for some people happening tomorrow maybe if you haven't had a plan for a long time in sensible we might have a flash sale you might want to see if you don't uh, get a flash sale notification please uh, dm me on twitter i'll be very happy to you know uh, give you the link so anyway that is our analysis for today uh, this uh, we'll see you again tomorrow with the tomorrow day day after because day after tomorrow is a trading holiday so on wednesday we'll see you again with uh, this weeks expiry analysis till then as usual this is not tips or any of that stuff this is just analysis so that you can learn to analyze of your own as usual you know please bet size properly please control your risks properly please don't take too much stress stress is like silent killer there's no point in taking stress and trading ultimately we have to have a good life money is secondary uh, so uh, most important thing please you know have a sane risk controlled position sized trading appetite which helps you peacefully live your life and you know sleep in the night uh, very deeply right so as usual we'll see you again day after tomorrow <coughs> please take care